What you guys in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to secure a race your m.2 drive now this could be an nvme drive or normal ssd type of m.2 drive so that's what we're going to be doing in this video we're going to be using parted magic 2020 which is the very latest edition of parted magic now this is not free software but it's very useful to have you can see it's got powerful tools embedded into the actual iso itself and when you boot up you can use these tools for benchmarking disk erasing, data rescue, disk partitioning, and also disk cloning. It's a very powerful tool. Now for $11, it's well worth it. Now, if you want to get the disk verifier, this is an add-on, a third-party add-on, which supports the NIST 800-88 compliant, which means it's really good for sanitizing the drive, and I'd advise you to get that. It's only about three pounds, and you can slipstream that straight into Parted Magic. It's very easy to do. I'm not going to be showing you that in this video, but if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll make that video for you on how to drag, drag that into the actual uh, drive and how to use it. It's a very good tool, and basically it just verifies the sanitation of that drive. And for £3, it's well worth it. So if you're doing this on a regular basis and you want to uh, get something that's uh, wiping the drive properly, then this is the way to do it. Now, we're going to be using uh, Yummy uh, to create our bootable USB flash drive. You can use whatever software you like, uh, but I'm going to be using this one to create our bootable USB flash drive. So this is Yummy right here. So we're going to go through. I'm going to select the drive, uh, which I'm going to be using. And of course, we can then choose Parted Magic down here. It should be listed under System Utilities. You can see it just down here somewhere. Come on, where are you? There we are. And uh, just browse for your ISO here. Now, I've already done this, so I'm just going to do it twice here. But I've already done this already. But I'll just add, add it in here. Now, with Yummy, you can add in other um, ISOs if you want to the build. So you can see it's warning me that I've already got it on there. So I'm going to end up with two of them on the drive itself, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you. So next up, we can hit the create now, and it will go ahead and create that bootable USB flash drive for us with parted magic on there. Now, I haven't added in the disk verifier in this video, but again, like I said, if you do want to see that part, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll add that into another video, and we can do a full um, sanitation of that m.2 drive so why would you want to do this well maybe you're getting rid of the computer and you've got all your data previously stored on here this uh, sanitation will completely wipe all of the data on this drive it's very simple and easy to do and of course rather than just throw these away you can just quickly erase them and uh you can just plug it into the uh, computer here. You can see there's a slot on this board, but if your board doesn't have an M.2 slot or you've already got one populated, then you can use something like this adapter. But if you do have space on the board, then you can just screw it straight into the board if you want to, into the M.2 slot on the board. But if you don't, then you can buy one of these adapters and basically plug it into one of these and then slot that into the board and you should be good to go. Now, the good thing about this adapter is it supports both types of uh, M.2 cards, which is the NVMe drives, and also it will support the SATA ones as well. So depending on which version you've got, you can use this to uh, wipe either one of these. And it's great for PC repair tech. So I'll leave the links in the video description for you so you can grab one of these if you work on this sort of stuff all the time. It's great for cloning, it's great for all sorts of stuff. So here we have the actual board itself. You can see here, we've got two slots on here. One has got the SATA port here for the SATA cable. You will need the SATA cable. It does come with that in the kit. So what we have here is the M key PCI Express times four slot, which is for your NVMe, and also the SATA one, which is the BME key on that side, which is for your SATA. And you just have to plug in the SATA cable to uh, the SATA port on the motherboard if you're using one of those types of drives. And of course it takes different sizes. And all you need to do here is just screw it into the kit here. So let me go ahead and do this. It comes with two packs of screws and a bolt. This is the drive here. I'll just quickly show you how to slot this in. It just slots in like you would on a motherboard. And that's basically what it is. It's just like a riser card, which is acting like a motherboard slot on the board here. So all we need to do is screw this down. And it does come with those screws in the kit here. 
So let me get this screwed down onto the board itself and then we can plug it into the PCIe um, slot on the board there. So let's go ahead and get this sorted out. Now this is the SATA cable that comes with the kit as well and uh, basically you would use this to uh, put this into the board if you're using the b and uh, type of uh, M.2 cards which are the SATA ones. Uh, they're not super fast but they're the ones you would use if you're using that and there is an actual uh, port on the back there so you just put the screw through and hold it with your finger and of course what you can then do is offer up the nut and tighten it down and that should put that into place and then we would screw uh, the m.2 uh, card into there which is going to be our nvme card so let me just get that tightened down with my fingers here you only need it finger tight it doesn't have to be super tight and all i need to do now is put in the drive and I'm just going to slot that in here like so and then all I need to do is screw down with the screw that comes in the kit so let's go ahead and get that quickly screwed down now these things are absolute tiny so you want to get a magnetic screwdriver here and just tighten this down like so very simple and easy to do and once we've got that done we can then just remove an expansion slot on the back of the case here and then get this into uh, the motherboard here so you can see you've got some led lights here which will tell you uh, whether it's active or not and uh, there's one for each channel here which is nice and again we're not using this top one here we're just going to populate the nvme drive slot here but the sata one is there if you need it there's also the port there for the cable let me just put that in so you can see it just in case you are playing along at home with the sata one so you just put that in there and you would obviously put in uh, the MB uh, type of card in there and that's it so I'm just going to remove that and get this into the case so that will go somewhere like that in there so let me just go ahead and uh, get this in so we've got that done and all I need to do now is put in my USB flash drive and boot to that USB flash drive and you, we should see the display come up on the screen here so I'm going to be tapping F11 here to choose my um, USB flash drive from the menu you should see a little menu come up down on the bottom of the screen here mine's in the bottom right tells me to push F11 so I'm going to keep tapping that to get to the boot menu don't have to go into the BIOS here and this will give us the boot menu I can now choose USB uh, drive that I've got here which is the SanDisk so let me just choose this one and push enter on the keyboard and that will then boot up we should now see multi boot USB I'm going to go to uh, tools and you'll see two of them here because I created two of them as I said earlier on in the video but I'm just going to select the top one here and we're going to go down to where it says live with default setting 64 which is a live environment so I'm going to go into there and uh, boot that one up so let me just go ahead and let this load in so you should see a load of text coming up on the screen don't worry about that that's pretty normal that's just the uh, USB flash drive booting up with uh, parted magic on it and again there we have the display so you just choose your language there and this is it and you've got a bunch of tools in here which you can use to do certain things so we're interested in the uh, the erased disk here so let's click on that one here and you can see we've got secure erase and block wiping so we also have secure erase ata uh, devices which is going to be your sata devices which are going to be your uh, solid state drives and stuff like that you can sanitize those as well you got your block wipe in here and it will go through and use these methods if you wish we're not concentrating on that in this video we're just going to go into the secure erase tab here and we're going to be using the nvme secure erase because that's what we've got inside here which is the uh, nvme express m.2 so click on this one and you should now see a, a drive popping up here which is my samsung ssd 970 evo one terabyte click put the tick inside the box and push continue now if it doesn't work you need to hit the select button and uh, the pc will shut down and boot back up and then you try the same process again allow this utility to erase the listed devices and uh, we're going to click erase and it will go through and quickly erase that drive very quick and easy to do and that's it that's simple so if you want to erase your M.2 drives, whether they be uh, NVMe drives or whether they be the SATA versions, you can do that with this piece of software. 
Now remember if yours is not an NVMe drive and it's the SATA version, use the ATA Sanitize and that will wipe the uh, drive for you. I would advise you to get the Disk Verifier which is a third party add-on for the NIST 800-88 compliant which uh, basically will verify that the drive has been erased and sanitized properly, especially if you are getting rid of the computer or you just want peace of mind and wiping the drive securely, you can use this method. It's the safest way to do it. It doesn't put hardware and tear on the drive. It's pretty instant and it will just remove blocks of data from that drive and make it nice and secure and sanitized. Anyway, with that said, that's gonna be about it. I'll leave the links in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this one useful. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.